Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another DIY project today. I believe this is the first DIY project from the new house. So um, I have the project right here and it actually has the Dallas address on it. I'm sure you probably can't see that, but that's how long I've been holding on to this. So I'm ready to put it together today. Now, if you're wondering why am I not doing this in the workshop, in the garage, it's because it's about 184 degrees outside today, so I'm gonna stay in the air conditioning and do this safely. Uh, this is made by landscape.fm. I've got their website up over here. You might recognize that name because I've done a few of their projects like this one. And um, anyway, they make something called the HCTT, Human Controlled Tape Transport. It's exactly what it sounds like. Basically, it allows you to advance tape manually to get some weird effects, and it comes as a DIY kit. Let's do it. So here is the completed HCTT. And as you can see, I've already inserted the cassette tape here. It actually comes with a cassette tape. And let's go ahead and power it on to see what happens. All right, we see a light, that's a good sign. And if I turn this knob here, it should uh, advance the tape at whatever speed that I turn it. So let's take a look. By the way, I don't know what's on this tape, but I guess we're about to find out. Well, I'm going to go to the ground with gold buttons. Invisible gas. She's getting cold. That's pretty cool. But if I turn this one, it should play backwards. And of course, you can kind of turn it by the side here if you want. Or this way. And you can kind of do that scratching thing. That's pretty cool. Um, I wonder what happens if we add some effects to this. That is pretty wicked, guys. So you can see there's a lot of fun you can have with this little thing. It does have some little sensors here that you can touch to do different effects as well. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, so, you know, you can kind of integrate those. Uh, a lot of options here. Like I said, it does have an input as well that you can put stuff through it. And it has a CV and gate output. So in addition to being a source, you could um, actually use the CV and gate to like interface with a module or synth or something like that. So maybe that'll come in a future video. But for today, this baby's built. I wanna go play with it, have a little fun with it and uh, see what I can come up with, but there you go. Okay, so there you have it, folks. That was the HCTT Human Controlled Tape Transport from landscape.fm. Again, I have their site up over here and you can buy these on their website. They sell it as a completed kit or as a DIY kit like I got. Um, and uh, the prices and availability and everything are on there. 
By the way, I have no affiliation with Landscape. They did not send this to me for free, but I have built some of their products in the past. I think they're a pretty good company and happy to promote them. So anyway, I'm looking forward to kind of using this in some different scenarios. I think it might be cool to add it to like some spacey guitar sounds or maybe, you know, some modular synth composition or something like that. I think it's really got some options where you can be like little samples, but they aren't samples. They're human controlled tape. Anyway, if you like what I do on this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button for me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.